hello welcome to the AOA solution channel in this video we'll be walking through an example that borders on um, uniformly accelerated motion and we're going to use this example to do our illustration by walking through the following questions for this problem for this problem we are told that a vehicle was initially at rest and it accelerates uniformly to a velocity of 36 km per hour from, and from the car's odometer the driver knows that the vehicle has traveled 0.1 km at that time and we are told to determine the acceleration of the car the time it took to attain that speed the time it will take to double the current distance and the time it will take to attain a speed of 54 km per hour and as far as this problem is concerned we are told first and foremost that the vehicle was initially at rest that means the initial velocity is zero then we are told the vehicle accelerates uniformly which informs us that um, acceleration is constant up to a velocity of 36 km per hour so the final velocity let's call it v1 becomes 36 km per hour which is equivalent to 10 meter per seconds and of course as at that time the car has traveled through a distance of 0.1 kilometers which is equivalent to 100 meters and firstly we are to determine the acceleration of the car that's the constant acceleration then we are to find the time it took for the vehicle to attain that speed that's to attain the speed of 10 meter per seconds then after that we are to look for the time it will take the vehicle to reach double the current distance that's two times the distance we have currently and finally we are told to look for the time it will take to attain a speed of 54 km per hour so to walk through this problem we we need to itemize all parameters that has been given to us the initial velocity the final velocity the, the position it gets to then the initial position which we take as zero for this case and all the formula that are useful for solving problem that borders on uniformly accelerated motion so to we're going to use just these parameters and formulas to begin by answering each and all of the problem and we we'll start by looking answering the first question that um, requires us to determine the acceleration of the vehicle and to do that we we'll bring out all items that has been given to us and if we enlist our formulations starting from the first equation of motion v1 is equal to v0 plus at the question becomes can this actually solve our problem of course we have v1 we have v v0 we don't have acceleration and we don't have time so because we have two unknown here this may not be the best um, formula that would that we could use to find the acceleration if we bring out the second formula of course this one also has um, acceleration as and time which we do not have in the parameters that we're given so this is also unsuitable and the last one v square is equal to v naught square plus 2a x1 minus x naught of course this is suitable because we have all the variables there apart from a which we are looking for so we're going to use this formulation to find our acceleration and to do that we are to bring in our parameters and we put them all into the equation putting each and every of them in the position that the, they should be then we have one simple equation that we can simplify to find our value for acceleration our value for acceleration which is 0.5 meters per second square then from there we go on to the next question that requires us to find the time it took to attain that speed of course we we call that our variables each and all of the variables that has been given to us from v1 even up to the constant acceleration that we determined but for this case we are looking for time so if we bring out our formulas the first one well is it suitable it has v1 v0 a and t and we're looking for time so of course this can help us solve our problem the second one also has x1 x0 v0 a and time that we are looking for and we have every of the variables that are in the second formulation apart from acceleration that we're looking apart from time that we're looking for so this is also suitable and the final one of course it lacks time that we are looking for so it's not suitable so we're going to walk through the solution by calling the first formula which is suitable and we impute our variables velocity v1 is equal to 10 v0 is equal to 0 
and then we have acceleration is calculated as 0 0.5 so and we're looking for t so if we simplify this we get a uh, 0 0.5 t is equal to 10 and of course if you evaluate that you get our time to be 20 seconds also if we decide to use the second formula to solve our problem if we impute all the variables that we have from x1 s0 v0 and a into the formula and you solve you're going to get the same answer which is t is equal to plus or minus 20 and because time is always positive the answer is plus 20 which is similar to what we get before so our time is 20 seconds that we take for the vehicle to attain that speed of um, 10 meter per second the next question is what is the time required to double the current distance let's call that time t2 to double the current distance means we have another distance which is two times the initial distance which is 200 of course we check through our formulas we determine the one that is most suitable the first formula of course does not have distance which is 200 that we're working with so is unsuitable the second one has distance it has your initial velocity it has acceleration so of course this can help us to get our answer the third formula has final velocity v1 of course we don't have the velocity as at the time that the vehicle gets to that 200 meters so this becomes unsuitable because you have two unknown the velocity as at the time the car attained a distance of a displacement of 200 meters and the acceleration that we are looking for so to work with the second formula which is the most suitable is just to put in all our variables s2 of course is the 200 which is the new distance that we are working with our s0 is zero our v0 is zero it remains zero since the original since the vehicle was initially at rest then we've calculated our acceleration which is constant and remains 0.5 thrust the motion to be 0.5 so having input all this into the equation we can simplify and once that is done we'll get our time to be 28.28 seconds and this is our time it will take for the vehicle to get to a distance of 200 meters which is double the current distance that the vehicle is as at the points that the analysis as at the points the variables is taking for the problem then the next question is to calculate the time to attain a speed of 40 km per hour so of course we have certain variables that remains the same the initial velocity remains the same as zero because the vehicle was initially at rest the acceleration is constant throughout the motion so a is 0 0.5 meter per second and x which is our initial distance is zero and for this time this time around we are looking for another time let's call it time three and that is the time for our velocity to be equal to 54 km per hour which is equivalent to 15 meter per second if we work through our different formulation picking the first equation or we're looking for time and we have final velocity we have initial velocity we have acceleration so this is very suitable for solving the problem now let's see the second equation for the second equation we have x1 x1 will be the distance as at the time the vehicle has moved to 54 kilometers per hour but we don't have that value rather the distance we have was the distance as at when the velocity was 10 meters per second has given the equation to be 100 meters and we also have another distance which is double the distance of double the 100 meters which is 200 meters but for this particular case we do not have the distance the vehicle would have covered as at the time the velocity has risen to 54 km per hour so this equation is not suitable and finally the last equation is also not suitable because we also have x1 which is the distance the car would have traveled as at the time it attained the speed of 54 km per hour so this equation is also not valid and to use this equation to solve of course if we bring in all our formulations and we put all of them back into the equation all our variables we put them back into the equation we get 15 is equal to 0 plus 0 0.5 t and we can easily calculate t from here to be 30 seconds and therefore 30 seconds is the time required to attain a speed of 54 km per hour now for the answers we've gotten we discovered that we calculated for acceleration of the vehicle to be 0 0.5 meter per second square we calculated for the time it took to attain the speed t is equal to 20 seconds we also determined the time t2 for the vehicle which is 28.28 seconds that's the time it will take to double the distance now then and finally we, we determine the time it will take to attain a, a speed of 54 km per hour um, there are certain problems you may want to try your hands with 
first and foremost let's say you may want to find the velocity as at the time that the distance was doubled that's what is the velocity of the vehicle when the time was 28.28 seconds or when the distance was doubled that's when the distance is now 200 meters and also you may want to work out what distance would the car have traveled as at the time it was driving it was moving at a speed of 54 km per hour mind you we've calculated the time to attain that speed before to be 30 seconds and i think once you can do this that means you can be able to solve any problem as far as uniformly accelerated motion is concerned and i think this will be all for now i want to thank you for watching if you are yet to subscribe to my channel do where to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get an update when new videos are uploaded thanks once again and see you in my next video